Fred Friendly was sort of an overwhelming force. He was a tough journalist, he had a lot of integrity, and he really cared about journalists and the responsibility of the journalist. He did what he needed to do to get to the facts, and he was uncompromising. His legacy, practically for me, is that he was the founding force in so many ways in modern day public television. He didn't believe in just taking a short answer without following up. He believed in telling the real story and not just spouting opinion. The Friendly Award shows all of journalism the types of stories to strive for. Fred received the first award, which was 17 years ago, and all of the uh, people who have gotten the award since have, in one way or another, exemplified or reflected the views of Fred and the things that he cared about in journalism. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2010 Fred Friendly First Amendment Award recipient, Wen I. It's great to get an award in the name of someone like Fred Friendly who basically made my job possible. He made my life possible. He made the kinds of things that I'm committed to possible. So it's not only getting an award in the name of Fred Friendly, but also to fall in the footsteps with all the amazing people who've gotten it before. Gwen Eiffel is a perfect candidate, I think, because she's gutsy, she's determined, she cares about getting the story out and getting it straight. She really defines just hard news solid, in-depth reporting and journalism. She does her homework. She really breaks through all kinds of barriers for those of us who admire her and follow her. The reasons why this award means so much to me is because Quinnipiac has been such a help to me in my actual political coverage in my career. The Friendly Award benefits the Quinnipiac community because it shows that we're serious about journalism. I think Quinnipiac should be commended for its attempt to preserve journalism, which I think might be a dying breed. Now it seems like any kid with a camera and a mic is, a, is suddenly a journalist. And you're like, hold on a second, there's a lot you have to learn before you take on this awesome responsibility. And I think that your university is sort of taking a front row seat when it comes to reminding us that we still need to get as close to the essence of what really happened as we can.